So one of the biggest purchases we knew we were going to have to make uh, when we found out we were having the twins was obviously a new car. Uh, bit of a logistical nightmare, three baby seats in one car, but I sort of assumed that you'd be able to fit those in the back of any normal large car. So I used to drive a Suzuki Swift, Ben was in like a big four wheel drive and I thought it would be possible. And I was shocked to find out that if you have three big baby seats, they're not going to fit. So we knew we needed something bigger. We knew we were going to need something from the uh, minivan or people mover section, which initially scared me. Um, but we were pretty excited. So we decided between a few different cars and then we headed down to Brookvale to see if we could find the perfect fit for us. So we came across the multivan and for me, it's always been a bit of a, a car crush. Um, I just think it's a cool car and visions of myself in a mum car I wanted to feel good. So we went for a test drive, we tried it out, and I absolutely fell in love with it. And this is why. So the first thing is that it's actually extremely easy to drive. And my friends look at me like, I don't know how you drive that thing, because they're still driving little Suzuki Swifts. However, it's actually remarkably easy. It's smooth, the turning circle is, it's easier to drive than Ben's old big four wheel drive. It turns, like I feel like I can do 360s on the spot. I can't, but in, in times where I would usually have to do like a five point turn, this car actually does it. I don't know if it's got to do with the fact that it has no bonnet or the reversing camera that kind of lets me know exactly where I am, but everything is totally possible. So that was like a really big surprise for me because I expected that driving a big car, it would feel like driving a big car, but it really doesn't. I feel like I'm in my Swift again. Um, Another reason I love this car is because of the automatic doors. Now, when we first went to purchase the VW Multivan, I thought automatic doors are just sort of not necessary. And I guess in a lot of ways, they're really not. However, I've realized since then how necessary they are because when I'm coming out of the shops with a baby in each arm and shopping bags hanging off me, the only thing that I can move is my index finger. So if I can push those buttons, by the time I get to the car, the doors are open and everything's ready to go. I literally feel like I'm walking out to like my Batmobile and it's like, I'm ready. So that's a fantastic element. Um, another one for me which I really didn't realise that I would need is storage. So when we went to first purchase this car, storage was not on my list of things that were necessary. It just didn't even cross my mind. But it's one of those things that you don't need until you need and we need it. So uh, in the seats in the middle, underneath, there's these huge drawers and I've got them packed with nappies, wipes, bags, dummies, you name it, it's in there. Uh, there's also storage at the back, under the back seats, uh, where they've got sort of like three little compartments. I've got baby Bjorns in there. I've got like little carry around seats that you can clip on when you go to cafes. So it's all there, but it doesn't have to be there. Like I hate mess. Um, so not having to look in the back and really see family car, it still looks sleek and sexy in my opinion, so that is a pro. Um, also in the front there's more storage and compartments than you could ever imagine, um, so I make full use of those with all of my baby things. Uh, another element that is quite obvious I guess when you see the car is the space. So when we were shopping for all the different cars, um, I quickly realised that if you're looking for a seven-seater, it's a bit of a logistical nightmare because, for example, for us, we needed twin baby seats and they needed to be in the back or Charlie would have to be in the back. But with a lot of cars, you've got the seats in the middle and I don't know how I was supposed to strap them up. I can't lean over the seats or climb over every time I have to get in and out of the car. So what was excellent about this car and a really big sort of point that made me go that way was the fact that the middle two seats are separate and the front two seats are separate and then there's your row again uh, along the back. So I can just walk straight down, kind of like a plane, but it doesn't drive like a plane. Um, I can just walk straight down the back. If they're crying, I can pull over and get down the back quickly. I don't have to get out of the car. I don't have to open the doors. It's just everything's possible within this little space. So it's really excellent in that way. Which kind of leads me to another point, which I also hadn't thought about. And when I say weather friendly, it sounds a bit odd, but just hear me out. The car is weather friendly. So if it's raining uh, and we're parked out somewhere where I can't be undercover and it's pouring on me, what's great about this car is that I can just naturally pump my doors, Batmobile, doors open, um, and I can dump 
sorry, dump. I can place the babies sitting on the floor, they've got toys to play with, they're enjoying themselves, and then I can close the doors and then start to strap everybody up. So it's not like I have to lean in from the side of the car, I'm trying to belt them off, the other ones are going everywhere. We all just get in the car and close the doors. And it's like we're in our little room. They're happy, I'm happy, and I can slowly get them all buckled up and things like that. So that's something I didn't realise again until it happened. And I thought, oh, this is brilliant. Another element, I love, 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 uh, the dual air conditioning. Now, I actually don't know what dual air conditioning is, but I assume that it means that you can have a different temperature to your partner who's in the car. So, the, the backstory, I hate being hot. Anyone who knows me knows I hate being hot. If I'm starting to freak out, you can be rest assured that it's going above 25 degrees and I'm losing it. So, What's been really great for us is, I call it double dual air conditioning, um, is that in the front, Ben can have his temperature. He likes sort of a balmy 21. Um, I like anything sub 18, so I like to be as cool as possible, but I don't have to worry that in the back, the babies are freezing just because I need to be. So the end result really is Ben's not complaining, which is nice. Uh, the babies are happy, and most importantly, in this instance, I'm happy, because if you can keep me cool, everything's cool. Another wonderful thing, again, you're in a family car, I don't want to feel like I'm driving a family car. I want it to just happen to be a family car. Um, and you know those cars where you have to like stick on the shade screens and they just kind of suction to the windows and like sure it's practical, but it's ugly. So I don't have those. In fact, I have built in shade screens. So you just pull it up and clip it in and everything just looks sleek. All the back seats have it, the front obviously don't. Um, but it just means for me, again, that my car can look like an adult's cool car rather than a family mobile, which is great, but not that great. Um, the seats are also, I like to say, movable and removable. Uh, when we first bought the car, there was a table in the middle. So you've got the middle seats which can face the back. Obviously when the children are in the seats, they have to face forward, but you have the option as they get older to turn them around and face the back. And you can put the table in the middle. So I'm just thinking like five years down the track when we've got these little family holidays, I can have my kids literally all facing each other in the back, table in the middle, a game on the table, you're laughing. Um, so that's been really helpful. And also you can take out entire seats. The whole thing is changeable to how you'd like it. So at times we've taken out one of the two middle seats to give us some more space. Uh, at times we've moved the entire back seat, which is like a big bench seat, moved it forward so you've got more storage in the back if we're going on holidays, which was handy a few months ago when we went to Canberra. Um, everything is an option in this car and it's honestly one of my favourite things about it.